Okay, so Coach Nettlehofer has been, obviously, um, being my head coach, um, sometimes it, there's a disconnect between the players and the coaches, uh, but Coach Nettlehofer is definitely an exception uh, when it comes to that because he wants to be in our lives um, and actively um, participating in everything that we do, both on and off the court. Um, and he's, he's all about character, and that's one thing that um, has benefited me um, more than more than anything else is just um, seeing him live out um, the things that he preaches to us on a daily basis. First Corinthians 12, yes the body has many different parts, not just one part. If the foot says I am not part of the body because I am not a hand, that does not make it any less part, a part of the body. Alright, uh, the team has grown in a number of different ways. I think we've grown personally, I think we've grown emotionally, I think we've grown spiritually, I think we've just become a more of a family. Uh, you know, we, we came in as with 17 uh, kids that were 18 years old, that were some of them were going to college for the first time. A lot of first, putting on their shoes for the first time, putting on their practice uniforms. And today I think there's just a lot of excitement. Um, uh, the kids are starting to believe and to, to see what, what they're capable of and what we can do together. Well, this season I'm pretty excited about, you know, the returners. You know, we're all sophomores with a few freshmen, so we bring bringing back experience, but also some new skills. We got new era and then we got new era plus 17 coming. Um, this year I'm hoping for double digit games. Last year we won eight, so hopefully we can improve from there. You know, we're just gonna keep getting better, pushing each other every day. Uh, we picked up a lot of muscle in the weight room this summer. Most of the guys stayed over the summer. Um, some guys even came down every chance they got to come down to lift weights, get bigger, get better, everything. Developing men of influence. Um, I think that's our primary goal here, um, is that these guys are leaving here, going on to be great husbands, great fathers, um, have an impact in their church and their community, and that they are uh, paving the way for future Millican basketball players in Big Blue Nation. Um, guys that work tremendously hard, I think the biggest difference people will see outside of the experience that now, the great thing about 17 freshmen is that now 17 freshmen are sophomores, um, is that they've gotten stronger um, and they've become closer um, just as, as friends and holding one another accountable. But they've really hit the weight room hard and uh, academically have, have continued to focus and, and learn from past mistakes. And everything's been about first and now learning from it and knowing what it's going to take to be competitive in this league. Well, I think this is Decatur, Illinois, and sometimes people that say, you live in central Illinois, Decatur, Illinois, what's there? Millican basketball is here, and um, it's a great, great product. It's an opportunity to have some pride in your city. This should be your team. Um, you can get to know the players. My family sits in the front row. Um, you know, we're active in the community for sure, and what better time to rally? Like, we're, I believe we're like a great stock. And what better time to rally about it around a young program that I think has the ability to, to uh, go on and do great things and to, to rally around them as sophomores and watch this program grow from 1-24 to hopefully being very competitive.